This is uh, my introduction to BIM Select model in its most basic form. There's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube which are quite complex and for advanced users. Uh, this setup would suit most uh, small engineering companies wishing to preview a model before issue. Uh, we're going to start up by opening this sample staircase. There's a staircase, took a little while to generate. Um, as you can see, there's not exactly a lot to look at. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is start paring down this model. We're going to show you a couple of ways of hiding objects in the model. Uh, the first one I will show you, which is shown somewhere up here. There you go. Hide select backspace. Uh, simply just left click on something and hit backspace it's probably one of the quicker ways to hide things unless you know what you're wanting to hide and then you have the option to hide groups of objects and this particular group of object as you pass over this line you'll see certain things highlighting and they're in groups and that's what the one that we're looking for and it's called other finishers hide that and that hides all those uh, we'll also hide these which are from memory called wall tile so we'll hide the wall tiles we'll hide the resilient layer slab 11 floor floor tile 12 floor Hide, hide. Now we're left with the steel, the glass, the concrete blade, and the tiled finishes. This gives you a better view of the staircase and how it's all connected. Uh, and we're going to improve that now by changing the transparency. And we're going to change the transparency of the glass and of the floor tiles. You can change the transparency by right clicking. You get this option to change colour, custom colour, and drag it down to about 100 ish, and anywhere in that area. Obviously, we've got more than one glass panel, so we take advantage of the fact that everything has been named in the Tecla model as one item i.e. glass and we're going to change the transparency of all the glass so now we can see through the glass to the model actually I think we might go a little bit oops Ten. we'll go down to about 50 so now you can see the staircase coming through uh, we'll do the same with the floor tiles. So you can see into the internals of the tread. Once you've uh, hidden enough objects and you've got the model how you want it, uh, you can save that view. So if I turn on some of the hidden items. I can always go back to that view and continue working, adding notes, inquiring parts, whatever you need to do. On your setup, you'll have this option here, full screen. You can always press F11. You can still access right click menus on here uh, in this full screen view if you do it will take you back to your default view or you can just press escape so, uh, if I... one of the features available now we're uh, looking at the steelwork 
is uh, the option to inquire objects. Um, we'll, we'll inquire this post. So if you highlight it and right click on it, view detail information on the object. Uh, this tab pops up and within here you've got its profile, section size itself, 100 by 100, 10 mil in affiliate radius, uh, weight, volume, part marks, the phase that it's in, uh, its finish, grade, its name in the model, etc, etc. And you can inquire the similar on bolts as well. It gives you the bolt, tells you what washer's on it, what the bolt grade is, its length, etc etc these tabs can be shut down at any time and we are now going to um, look into the internals of this staircase I'm going to switch the tiles back on uh, this is another way of seeing inside your internals is to add clip planes you can add up to six clip planes uh, and we're going to use this to set them up uh, the red square is telling you what the face is that you want at the moment. Uh, we'll pick that one and we'll add another one to the top. And we'll add one to this side. And we'll add one to this side. You can see the staircase has disappeared now. All you need to do is just drag your scissor symbols. There you go, you can create up to six of those. Uh, you can delete each one individually by just hovering over it and deleting, or you can turn them all off. And in your markups, and there in markups you've got dimensions, uh, marker, and add notes. Uh, markup, I'm going to mark up this for instance and it's this base plate a comment around the bolts as, as you can see the markup stays with the item obviously there's a reason why we've marked it up and so we're going to add a note to it there's one way of adding a note and the other place to add a note is add a note I tend to right click, add a note, and a note problems appear, I'm going to make the note public so that when I share this model somebody sees a question, so it's uh, for the sake of argument confirm embedment, save that, I can also uh, add the current view and as a uh, respondent or uh, recipient for this uh, model the uh, user then gets the option to write a reply and uh, 150 embed and save obviously this would have your name on and not mine a couple more notes on here just display put the marker on it add the note to it confirm embed save and I'm going to redraw the model now I'm going to redraw the entire model and as you can see the notes can be seen uh, and you wouldn't need to hide anything uh, you just double click on the note and then click on the view and it uh, reverts back to the hidden view as it was saved and uh, same again for this one and double click on that uh, the note appears on the right hand side and recreates the view now obviously you're going to want to put dimensions on this and uh, I must confess it's not something 
I do mugs myself because I'm always sending models rather than interrogating them. Uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it. Pick in the dimension, select dimension again, and put another dimension on. If you don't feel comfortable working uh, in a isometric mode, we can always switch to a ortho mode. If you want to do an ortho, uh, we'll just deselect dimensions and if you hold your alt button down and double click it will change the view now you must have this selected to orthogonal uh, as you can see we can change the visibility and see through the model just revert back to this and we'll look to do a dimension on this thread Show only. So there you go, there's just this tray. If I hold my alt button down, double click, just redraw all. And there you have a true view from where you can take further dimensions. Clear your dimensions. And you shoot your model down. And then when your recipient opens it, you should see the notes. And that's pretty much the basics.